Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk and today we'll be discussing about what tension type headache is. Have you been diagnosed with this or may think you suffer from tension type headache? Well, today we'll go into greater detail to further understand what tension type headache is so you have a clear understanding as well as understanding the possible causes of why you may suffer from it and also the potential treatment options to help with tension type headache. Now, tension type headache is actually the world's most prevalent headache. And according to the International Headache Society, the research suggests that it, is, it can be as prevalent in 60 to 80% of the population. Also, the World Health Organization reports suggest that tension type headache affects a large proportion of the population episodically. However, 20 to 30% of sufferers experience more chronic episodes. So, what is tension type headache? And, well, basically, tension type headache is characterized by sensations of a tightening or squeezing or pressing around the entire head. It's almost like as if you're wearing a helmet or a hat and it's starting to get tighter and tighter throughout the whole head. And it is usually a bilateral headache pain, and that means it affects both sides of the head. Rarely will it affect just one side of the head. Tension type headache is both sides. Now, this sensation has led to actually the misconception that tension type headache is caused by tightening of the muscles around the head and the face. And this has actually been proven wrong. Now, these headaches are often mild to moderate in pain severity and can often um, uh, vary in both the lengths of attacks as well as their frequency. Now, as opposed to migraines, nausea and vomiting are not a feature of tension type headache. So, you do not have nausea or vomiting unlike you do with migraines. But it is possible for patients to experience sensitivity to light or sound. So, let's now talk about the two different types of tension type headache. The first one is episodic tension type headache. And this is defined by the frequency of attacks a person experiences per month. And typically a person who has an attack fewer than 15 days per month, this is what is referred to as experiencing episodic tension type headache. And these attacks um, and headaches tend to peak in the fourth decade of life, around about the ages between 30 to 39, in both male and female, with a prevalence of 42% for men and 46% for women for this age. Now, women on average are most likely to experience these types of headaches than men. Now, the second um, type of tension type headache is called chronic tension type headache. And this is where attacks are experiencing more frequently. And a patient is suffering from chronic tension type headache if they experience attacks more than 15 days out of the month for more than three month period. Now, as these headaches are more persistent, they can be very disabling to a person's life. Now, sometimes these people can have these headaches for between 10 to 30 plus years and they can now become more and more resistant to painkillers. So you may find that you used to take medications which helped, but now you have to take a double dose or triple dose, or you may have moved on to a more uh, stronger medication. So, how are these different to migraines? Now, people who suffer from tension type headaches are often wrongly misdiagnosed as suffering from migraines. Now, the key difference between the two is that tension type headache are described as a bilateral, so both sides of the head, tightening and pressing sensation around the head. Whereas migraine are described as a unilateral, so one-sided pain, and more of a pulsating type pain around the head and the face. Also, tension type headaches are often mild to moderate in terms of pain, whereas migraine is more severe. And remember, 
um, migraines, you would have nausea and vomiting, whereas tension type headache, you don't. Also, another a key factor is tension type headache would generally not get worse with normal activities such as exercise, whereas migraines can become further exaggerated and exacerbated by certain activities and exercise. So then, what is the cause of tension and headache? Now, with more modern research, we now know that tension type headache is actually not caused by tightening of the muscles around the head. In fact, EMG studies have shown that there is no increase in muscle activity of the head or the face in these people at all. And more recent studies are starting to identify that people with, uh, who experience tension type headache have some increased sens sensitization of pathways in the central nervous system and the brainstem itself. So, modern um, headache research suggests that tension type headache arises from a problem in the upper three verticals, uh, vertebrae of the neck. And these patients have shown to have an upregulated trigeminal cervical nucleus as part of the sensitized brainstem. So, this sensitized brainstem then interprets information coming from the nerves in and around the neck incorrectly, sending symptoms around the head. And this pain, referred from a sensitized brainstem, is what sufferers of tension type headache patients are often experiencing. Hence, in summary, um, the research is now pinpointing that those suffering from tension type headache is due to a fault in the upper three vertebrae of the neck, which causes the brainstem to become more sensitive. When it becomes more sensitive, that is what then is triggering pain that shoots up and over into the head. So, what are the treatment options and what can you do to help tension type headache? Now, it isn't uncommon for tension type headache sufferers to have tried almost everything. Most treatments or therapies available, often with limited or small success. And it, usually a big reason why this is the case is because most practitioners often don't attempt to identify the underlying root cause of why you, the sufferer, may be having this tension type headache. Now, at our clinic here, we basically utilize modern technology, but also try to investigate the underlying root cause. So, my question to you is, is if you are trying to get treatment or try to get help with tension type headache, my question is, is have you seen a headache clinician? And more importantly, have they assessed the first three vertebrae of the neck to identify whether or not your brainstem is overactive, hypersensitive, and is that causing the headache pain into your head? Now, if you haven't had your neck and the brainstem assessed, then I would urge that this is the first point of contact that you should be seeking. You should be now seeking whether or not your neck and the brainstem is the cause, because if it can be determined and proven that the brainstem is a cause, then treatment can begin immediately. And treatment can be very effective. And treatment basically entails to desensitize the brainstem, making it less sensitive to prevent pain going into the head. And this treatment can be done by treating the upper three vertebrae of the neck. So, Hopefully you have had some good information and have found value in this video to understand what tension type headache is, the cause, and the potential treatment options that is available out at the moment. And if you do have any further questions, feel free to comment below or um, contact us through the channels below here. So, my name is Bertrand Dirk and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.